that if you don't have a point of reference in life, what is a point of reference? It's the standard, it's the model, it's the template of how things are and should be. And this is the point. James is telling us that God's word, that God's law is our point of reference. When you start getting confused about how you should be and who are you and who is God, what James is saying is that the law, the Torah, the scriptures, the word brings you freedom. And as I said previous weeks, James is constantly emphasizing that the word has been implanted in you and that word is able to save. Read it, read in James chapter uh, uh, 1. He says, in James chapter 1, he says, verse 19, my, my dear brothers, take note of this, James 1, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, for man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires, therefore get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent, and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you and then he says verse 25 but the man who looks intently into the perfect law the point of reference that gives freedom what does the constitution of america do it gives amen because the constitution is a point of reference the bill of rights is a Point of reference, the Constitution in your left hand and the Bill of Rights on the right hand. You can't understand the Constitution without the Bill of Rights. It's in the Bill of Rights that it says our rights, our inalienable rights, come from our 